Are we all live now? Hello, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tommy here. Today is Friday, okay? It's a TGIF, and of course, we're all looking forward to the National Day long weekend. Okay, so uh, have you made your plans yet on what you're going to do? Okay, so for this afternoon, okay, I'm going to be uh, announcing a few, uh, some, some news, lah, okay? So first thing, of course, it would be, of course, our retail store. We have still customers going to 239 Lavender Street, our address for the old store, lah. Please do not go there anymore because we are no longer located at 239 Lavender Street. Okay, I say again, uh, please do not visit us at 239 Lavender Street because our retail store there is closed. It's not open to the public. Okay, we'll be re relocating to a new location. So please do not go back to that old address. We will post on social media when our new store will reopen. Uh, it will be somewhere near at Tai Seng. So please, I say again, do not go to 239 Lavender Street or 259 Lavender Street. It is closed. We are no longer located there. Okay, that's the first announcement. Second thing, okay, uh, regarding about collection of bikes, okay, and or, or rather the delivery of bikes would be, is estimated about 14 delivery days, okay, working days. So if let's say you have placed an order with us, please do be patient because currently there's a very long queue uh, for bike orders lah, uh, because of generally there's a spike in bike orders during this period. So our delivery time is slightly delayed. Lah. So roughly about 14 days, okay. Uh, working days. Uh, next thing also uh, regarding about, let's say if you need to uh, place, let's say you need to, let's say you want to do a test strike at our this warehouse here, please do write to us at hello at mightyvalo.com. Okay, we do not take in, uh, we're not open actually to the public like the warehouse and also to walk in. So if you want to do a test strike, you will have to write to us at hello at mightyvalo.com and we can actually schedule an appointment for you to come by and test strike our bike. Okay, so please do that. Uh, we are just write to us, hello, mightyvelo.com. Okay, and then we'll get back to you on the location of our warehouse. Uh, currently, our appointment slots are on Tuesday, sorry, are from Monday to Saturday. Okay, timing about from 11 a.m. We have like 12 noon. Uh, we also have like 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Later the slot, the slot will be somewhere about 4 p.m. If let's say we find that we have many uh, visitors who want to come and test track the bike. Uh, so please uh, make the arrangement uh, before you come down. We do have a few unexpected uh, customers coming in without making any arrangement okay and sometimes we have to turn you away because of the crowd here so we do not want to be a situation where there are a lot of people bunching up here which is not good uh, for safe distancing measures okay we allow a maximum of three customers per appointment okay and of course when you come in you have to actually to do your qr code scan in okay measure your temperature okay before we allow you to come in so if let's say you do have family members or let's say you have friends with you when you want to do the appointment, right? You can maybe ask them to wait for you first, maybe downstairs, okay, before you make your way up to the warehouse, okay? Uh, this is just to be safe, like, just for our customers as well as for the staff here. All right, so, yeah, you have a question? Do I send to Indonesia? Send what to Indonesia? Okay, currently we're not taking any orders for our overseas customers due to a bike shortage. Okay, so our Indonesian customers, okay, or Elsewhere, if you'd like to order a bike from us, please do wait a while, okay? Our next shipment would come in probably probably in mid-September. Then you can actually place an order with us. Okay, this is due to a uh, bike shortage like, because uh, we have an uh, unprecedented amount of uh, numbers of orders online. So that's why we have to switch it off for the time being. So please be patient, okay? Once our new stock arrives, you can actually place your order somewhere in mid-September. All right. So for our next one, uh, next announcement, okay? Uh, we have many customers asking me, hey, Tommy, do you have any National Day Parade discount or not? 20% have or not? Okay, don't have, uh, sorry to say. Our current promotion is a 5% okay, on our existing uh, birdie bikes. Okay, so we won't be going back to 10%. We won't definitely not be going back to 20%. Okay, so it will be a 5% uh, discount on the birdie bikes. All right, so uh, I don't want to keep uh, all of us waiting because we're very excited about today's. Uh, we have a new holding bike brand that we want to introduce to everyone. Uh, it's a very new Stylo Milo uh, Japanese uh, design holding bike called the Yuruka. Okay, firstly, let me show you first lah, how it looks like. Okay, this is the Yuruka in the waiting mode or we call it the parking mode. Lah. Okay, it's a really beautiful, stylish holding bicycle. Okay, it's a Japanese design Okay, in Tokyo by the designer. Uh, his name is called Mr. Masaki Kobayashi. He is a very avid, he's an avid uh, commuter cyclist, okay, who actually 
Uh, he was actually the ex-CFO of uh, this like, technology listed company in Tokyo. When in, then he actually had a dream of building his own folding bicycle. So he actually wanted a folding bike that would actually suit his lifestyle you know, as a commuter cyclist. And of course, designing a bike is even for leisure cycling. So he actually saw the Yuruka went into production, right? It took him almost 12 years, okay, from 2008 all the way to about 2019, okay, until the Yuruka actually began commercial production. Okay, what does Yuruka uh, mean? Okay, what's the meaning? What's Yuruka? So actually, Yuruka refers to the dolphin swimming in the open ocean. Okay, uh, if you look at the logo actually right of the Yuruka, it's very <laughs> cute because it has this... Uh, Butterfly design, but the butterfly actually is the lips. Ah. Okay, later we'll show and show we'll show everyone. It's like it's the lips of the dolphin with a very cute eye. Lah. It's a very uh, eye-catching and very innovative uh, icon. Eh? I should say this logo. Lah. All right. So this Yuruka is designed by uh, Mr. Nosake Kobayashi. And he actually took just now I, I said okay, he took almost 12 years to see this bike into production. All right. So how did we uh, like how did Mighty Velo came about with this uh, brand? Okay, so our bosses actually met uh, Mr. Masaki-san, okay, in Tokyo in 2019 on a very wet and cold afternoon. Uh, they met at uh, outside their hotel in Tokyo. Okay, they were actually uh, having a meeting there. And then my bosses actually had a try of a test ride on the cycling pavement uh, on the Yuruka. Okay, so um, my bosses said that for every 15 to 20 years, right, uh, a good folding bike lah, will actually survive the sketching, drawing, the concept stage, lah, and will see through small batches of production. Okay, and gets acknowledged by cyclists, and then um, who dares to be an early adopter of this a new design. Okay, and as a result, you actually have a breakthrough. Okay, when larger commercial production actually takes place, and then of course being available in countries like in Singapore. All right, so many folding bike cyclists in Southeast Asia actually look to Mighty Velo uh, when we do actually launch a new product, okay, or when we have a new product range. Why? Okay, because we have been in this folding bike business for almost. 15 years, okay, and we have this, we've been consistently knowing how to pick up a really good folding bike brand for our customers, okay, and we can attest that actually the Yuruka has a very solid design, clean, minimalistic look, okay, and really good quality make, okay, that will actually appeal to many riders, okay, so if you are looking at a really innovative, a very different folding bike, okay, that is very different from the rest in the market, uh, in terms of its design, in terms of its, uh, how it folds and unfolds, how it moves, okay, then you have to actually, okay, look at the Yuruka folding bicycle. All right, so the Yuruka actually has four different modes. Lah. So let me run through with you some of them. So just now I mentioned this is called, it's like a very Muji-like. So they have actually like a run mode, walk mode, weight mode, and fleet mode. Okay, so all of them actually signify uh, the way in how it actually is being folded down or ready to use. Lah. So like in this particular mode, it's called the rest mode, where the Iruka is parked okay, in this uh, particular position. Okay, it doesn't require a kickstand. It can actually stand in this particular mode without a kickstand. Okay, next mode, of course, would be the run mode. Okay, run mode is when you're ready to ride. So all you need to do is just do a flip. Okay, and your Uruka is ready to be ridden off. Okay, uh, let me show you this side of the drive train as well. This is how it looks like on the drive train. Very innovative and very special about Uruka is that it features a very uh, a central slit at the main frame. So you notice my hand, right? Actually, can pass through the main frame here. It's okay, uh, very distinctive that you don't find in any other folding bike. It has this. Uh, slit here actually is when it's folded, the rear wheel actually would actually come in and tuck inside. So it actually features a very innovative way of actually folding your bicycle. This uh, Iruka. All right. Okay, uh, run through some specs with all of us here. Uh, it actually features uh, 18 inch folding, uh, this uh, tire size. All right, uh, uses a uh, Kojak 18 times 1.25. Crank size, okay. You see, it's pretty big here, uh, pretty efficient, 56 teeth, chain ring size. Okay, it uses this uh, Shimano Eternal 8-speed hub, okay, which is actually great, recommended for actually city riding because it's minimal maintenance, okay, and very easy to actually to pick up and pick off. You can actually also engage it while stationary, 
So it makes it really a very uh, nice system to use uh, for this kind of uh, like a folding bike, all right? And of course, it reduces the need uh, for you to actually go and clean the sprocket and stuff like that. So because it's all internal hub, hardly you need to actually to maintain it, except for the, the regular, of course, cleaning of the chain, inflation of your tires, lah. that's about it, okay? Uh, it actually has this Kojak Slick tires, which actually rolls very fast. So it's really great for a city like in Singapore, right, or in Tokyo, where you constantly, when you ride on the road, okay, you have to stop, start, stop, start, you know, that kind of setting. So with this internal gear system, actually, it makes it really easy for a rider to begin, okay, the ride, okay, even when, let's say, you stop riding and then you want to pick up again, you can do so easily because of the internal hub system, okay? A lot of riders ask me, hey, Tommy, Tommy is it similar to the Brompton, ah, when you have to stop pedaling and then they cannot go and press the engage the gears, okay? It's really different because this one, you can engage it while stationary. So not an issue, lah. So it really makes the changing of the gears really, really easy, okay? The Iruka comes in three uh, beautiful colors, okay? It comes in black. This beautiful color I'm showing right now is called Storm Gray. And of course, we have another color called Silver. So all together, it comes in three colors, black, Storm Gray, and Silver, okay? It's retailing now at the special price of 2 999 I say again, uh, it's retailing at the special price of 2 999 Currently, black color is sold out. Okay, thank you for the response for the Ruka. Uh, unbelievable, okay, because a lot of units are actually being sold out at the moment. So if, let's say, if you want to own okay, a Japanese design uh, holding bag with this unique folding system, right, you have to be quick, okay? Please place your order at our website, shop dot mighty com okay it's available right now on the website please lock on and usually for delivery for this bike okay it's much shorter as compared to the buddy bike uh you will take about maybe three to four working days for the bike to reach your address in Singapore okay so if let's say you're eager okay to own a folding bike right now and you want it to be a Japanese design Yuka then wait no longer okay you have to place your order right now okay before they all runs out, okay, because orders are actually coming in fast and furious, okay, and they are selling out fast. So please place your orders quickly, okay, before they run out. So right now, I'm going to show you all the different mode, okay, how it folds down. So just bear with me a little while, huh? So first thing first, okay, I'm going to show you how to fold the Iruka. So I'm going to do it slowly, okay, and also uh, we have customers that actually requested, hey, Tommy, can you show me step by step how to fold the Iruka? Because we have many customers that actually bought it during these few days. So, okay, I'm going to do it slowly lah, to show everyone how the Ruka folds down. So, first thing you need to do first is to make sure your left pedal, right, is on facing somewhere in the 9 to 10 o'clock position. Okay, you should be standing on the left side of the bike lah. Usually, I like to do that, all right? And then make sure your left pedal is somewhere in that 9 to 10 o'clock position. Next thing, okay, there's actually a release uh, down here, this clip here. Just pull it apart, okay? And then, of course, you notice you can actually... Uh, release the rear, okay, and lift up, and you can actually stand, okay, your Iruka in this position. At the same time, also make sure your handlebar is pointing to the right, okay, so we can show you the position somewhere pointing to the right. Okay, very important, the next step, of course, is to make sure your left pedal, right, is actually pointing backwards. Okay, the reason why we do so is because later we are going to bring your front wheel to actually to park it near to the other side of the tire. Okay, so make sure your left pedal, right, is actually situated behind. Very important. Otherwise, when you bring in, you might actually hit your front wheel. Next thing, okay, we're going to fold down your front wheel. So they have this very innovative lever system here. So pop this lever open. Okay, so usually what you see I'm holding, I'm holding onto the stem, the handlebar here. Hold onto it, okay? And then very easily, you see this knob here? We're going to slide it downwards, okay? Slide down. And then you just swivel the front wheel. Okay, very innovative design. And as a result, you notice that the rear wheel actually slots nicely into the slit. Can you see? You see the position there? Eh? Okay, tuck it nicely between the nut there. It will secure onto the, this portion here. So as you notice now, the two wheels are actually now coaxial. Okay, and later I'll show you how it actually can be rolled easily when your handlebar is folded now. So next step, okay, we're going to fold down your handlebar. Release this stem, this a lever here, keep this, okay, uh, another lever here, release, slot up, 
Okay, and then you can actually store down your handle bar. Uh, folding, okay, there's this folding pattern here, very easy. Just squeeze and turn. You can do the same for the other side as well. And then at this particular position, right, it's called the walking mode where I can actually move the Iruka. So uh, the camera woman can pan and make sure everyone can see how easy it is to move along. So all you need to do is just lift the saddle a little bit, okay, up, and it actually rolls on the two wheels. Okay, make sure you can capture that. Uh, See how easy it is. You do not need actually a third-party roller actually to achieve this. So it's actually minimal effort because it rolls on the two wheel. So it's very stable, very smooth rolling. Okay, so that's one really interesting feature that I like about the Uruka because it actually features this very smooth rolling. Okay, uh, this would be great, especially if let's say you're taking the train where you need to go, let's say a very long stretch of the station, okay, the pathway, you can actually roll it easily in this manner, okay? And of course, you do not need to install any third-party roller like you do in some other folding bikes, lah, where you have to install roller to roll. This one, no need. Okay, not the Ruka. So this is called the walking mode. I'm going to fold it down further to show you the sleep mode, where the Ruka is packed, ready to be packed, okay, or to be stored. All right, this is where your saddle is completely... Uh, slotted down and closed, and then you can actually pick up the ruka in three ways. Okay, one way, of course, is to actually to pick it up through, okay, using the handle. You can do that. That's one way. Second step you can pick up is actually to support it through uh, this frame here. Okay, hold the frame, lift up. Okay, so this is good. Let's say you're keeping it up to actually to put on your car boot. Lah. So you can do that. Okay, that's another one. Next one you can do to lift it up is to hold this stem area here on top here. Okay, pick it up, lift up. Okay, so you can actually do that. So these are three ways you can actually pick up and transport your Iruka. All right. Uh, never, 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 okay, I should say again, never pick up your Iruka like that. Never pick it up by the wheel. Okay, that's the reason why they have this plastic black thing that you see on the wheel. wheel okay, this thing here. It's actually a reminder for users, right, not to pick it up. So always uh, remember, cannot pick up like that uh, because you actually damage the wheel. So always pick up in the three ways I mentioned. Okay, so very important. Uh. So next thing, okay, so this is the sleeping mode of the Euroka. So now I'm going to show everyone the unfolding process. Okay, from the sleeping mode all the way to the waiting mode, all the way to the running mode. Okay, so first thing, you set up the handlebar. So lift up. Okay, push back the lever. And then, of course, set up your secondary seat post here to adjust your height. Next one, of course, is the handlebar. There's a clip here, a button here. Lah. So you notice, actually, the handlebar is now locked. I cannot lift it up unless I press this button here. So there's a catch here. Okay, press it down, and this thing can swivel up. So make sure you align it, okay, all the way, slot down, and then push down. Until you hear a click sound, and then you secure. Next step, okay, we also set up your handlebar. There are two positions, so this is the low position. I can go up one more and secure. Okay, next step, we are going to bring up your front wheel. So push your wheel slightly apart. Okay, and what I do, I'll pick it up from the stand here. Okay, hold on to this portion. There's a little button here. Can you see? You see this button here? So what I'm pointing here, so you push it, okay, press. And what happens now is that this thing will swivel out. Okay, this thing will actually swivel out. So make sure, okay, it's in line. Push it down hard. You hear that sound? And there's actually an extension mark here, an arrow. Lah. You need to make sure it's there. And then you lock. Okay, and that's done. At this point now, it's at the waiting mode. Lah. You can unfold the pedal now. Okay, twist, twist apart. And then, of course, just lift up the rear. And your folding bike, the Ruka, is unfolded and ready to ride. Okay, so that's the whole steps on how you unfold the Ruka. A uh, really unique design because it has this main slit here for you to actually to, uh, when the bike is folded, right, it actually folds down inside. Okay, some specs, okay, our viewers might like to know. Okay, the Ruka weighs about 11.9 kg without the pedals. It can take up to about 100 kg max rider's weight. Okay, for height, okay, can go all the way from 140 all the way to about 180 cm. All right. The brake lever 
and the brake caliper, right? It uses this brand called Promax. Okay, for the crank, okay, it's uh, their own proprietary brand. It's called the Shun Hiruka Original, 56 deep size. Any question? No question, ah? Huh? Okay. So next one, of course, is so the BB. Okay, it's their own own brand. Okay, the the Shun Hiruka Original. And then of course, uh, the gear system is using Shimano Alpine eight speed internal hub. So the great thing about the eight speed internal hub is that it doesn't requires any servicing. I should say because uh, it's all all sealed up inside that gearbox. Everything is sealed, so it only requires uh, occasional, you know, one or two drops of oil uh, after like riding for very long distances. Okay, so if you're keen in the Iruka, please uh, make your yeah, sorry, have a question? Okay, good question, okay. Uh, it comes actually with a rear suspension block behind, okay, because some customers are asking me, hey, Tommy, for suspension or not, the Iruka, okay, have, okay, it has a rear suspension. So pretty well cushioned, I should say. I've tried this uh, when I went home with this. I had the opportunity to bring it back home to ride. So from the office all the way to Jurong West, uh, quite a nice ride, very nice, smooth experience. Okay, so if you'd like to test ride Iruka, please come, okay, arrange a meeting to our warehouse at, uh, okay, just write to us at hello at mightyvelo.com and we can arrange a schedule for you to come and test ride. Yeah. Okay, the Iruka now is going at 2999 Okay, I say again, the price of the Iruka is 2999 All right. Uh, currently, we only have two colors left and that is the Storm Grey which is the one I'm showing right now, okay? And another color called silver, okay? Uh, black color is currently sold out, so that will be available in somewhere in November. So if you'd like to get the black color, you can actually make a pre-order, and then it will come in in November, all right? So that's the Iruka folding bicycle, uh, something really different from your average folding bike you see in the market, okay? So if you want something that stands out from the rest, okay, something that really... Uh, very clean line, very bold design, very innovative folding system, then, okay, please get a Iruka because definitely, okay, it will catch people's attention when you cycle past because of its really bold design, okay, and really beautiful make, okay. First impression when I received for the bike, okay, is that, wow, this bike is really well made. Uh. The quality-wise, okay, the how it actually, the design-wise of the frame, how it folds down, okay, uh, that's the very first thing that's fixed that comes across to my mind. Wow, this is a very well-made bike, okay? And when you cycle, okay, when you ride on it, okay, you actually feel the difference. Uh, very comfortable, okay, cushion as well. It accelerates really fast. And the braking system and also this uh, hub actually uh, helps to make it a really a very compact, very practical holding bike for any uh, people staying like in a city like in Singapore or let's say in a very crowded city like Tokyo, okay, or even in Jakarta. All right, so... Really good commuter-friendly bike, okay, designed for the commuter in mind. That's why a lot of the features you see on the bike ride has been carefully taught by Mr. Masaki Kobayashi, okay, because he himself is a very avid uh, commuter cyclist. And this actually does great for his commuter, uh, this uh, commuting to his office daily, as well as like during leisure cycling, you want to go long distance around island, the Yuruka also can do that as well. All right, so I say again, okay, the Yuruka now is going at 2 Nine nine nine. Okay, selling price is two nine nine nine. It's available in three colors, but currently black color is sold out. So we only have now the storm gray color and the silver color. Okay, they are selling out really really fast. So if you would like to own one, please place your orders. Okay, at our website shop.mightyvelo.com. Okay, real quickly because they are selling selling really very fast. Okay, so that's Iruka. So next, I'm going to show. Okay. Uh, our viewers next would be, of course, our buddy bicycle. So just hang on a while, ah. Huh? Okay, today is really the Friday, ah. Huh? TGIF, okay, because it's gonna be a long weekend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is the buddy. Bicycle, uh, and the model that I'm currently showing everyone is called the R20. Yes, I have a question. 
Uh, at the moment, we do not have this option because it's a newly launched bike ride. Uh, not at the moment. Lah. Okay, they might in the future. So at the moment, no. All right. So this is the R20. Okay, currently, just uh, to update our viewers, we have many orders, many models that are currently being sold out at the moment. New Classic, City Model, GT, Touring, right? These four models are sold out. They will be back in stock in estimated mid-September. Okay, I say again, uh, new Classic Model, City, GT, Touring, okay, are currently sold out. These models are not available right now, but they will be back, okay, for you to order in mid-September. So please be patient, okay? Uh, about one and a half months, uh. so please be patient, then you can order then. At the moment, I'm left with only two models, which is this one. It's called the R20. Uh, this is the latest model from Buddy. It features a 20-inch wheel set with a uh, Hubsmith wheel set, okay? Really good quality, spinning wheels. And of course, it has this Shimano 105 rear D. Lah. So really good premium components. So if you like to ride fast, go fast, you need to have, like to have the adrenaline chill when you pedal, you feel that rush, then the R20 is really your kind of bike, okay? Um, Many riders have uh, actually wrote on this when it came to the warehouse, okay? They like the feel, it's very responsive, uh, very good braking system also as well, and spinning is really, really smooth. Okay, so if you like that, please uh, do consider the R20. Okay, the R20 now is going for 3563. Let me say again the price, huh? after 5% discount, it's going at 3563, future price 3750. Okay, it's now at 5% discount. Uh, it's available right now, we only have very limited colors left. Uh, I think we have four colors left. That will be the Mercury Blue, Mercury Copper, Champagne Gold, and Rose Gold. Okay, for the rest of the colors, okay, same thing, they will come in in mid-September. So if you'd like to have a particular color that you like, but it's currently out of stock, please email us at hello at mightyvelo.com so that we can put you on the waiting list. So once it's here, we'll contact you okay, for your purchase. All right, so this is the R20. Uh, retailing now at 3563, usual price 3750, available now in four colors. So Mercury Blue, Mercury Copper, Champagne Gold, and Rose Gold. All right, so if you like a bike that can go fast, okay, you want the latest model, the lightest model, in fact, this is 10.2 kg, okay, without the pedals, then please do get the R20. All right, one more model I want to show everyone, it's called the Buddy Roll-Off, the king of the roll-off. Okay, so hang on a while. Okay, so this color that I'm showing everyone is called the Mercury Copper, which is available. Okay, same as just now, the one I show everyone is the Mercury Blue. So this is the Buddy Roll-Off 14 speed. Uh, okay, it has a hefty price tag, okay, but uh, why the heavy price tag? Okay, that price tag, uh, because of the quality of its internal gear hub. Okay, it's a very unique because it features this uh, 14 speed Roll-Off internal gear hub, which actually makes... Uh, very smooth shifting of the gears. Okay, you do not have to maintain, uh, I should say minimal maintenance, lah, okay, because uh, all the gearing is actually found inside this uh, gear hub. So it's not exposed to water, mud, dust, you know, even when you cycle. So even when it rains, okay, you won't get wet. So minimum maintenance, okay, you only need maybe one or two drops of oil after like maybe 5,000 kilometers and hardly any breakdown at all, okay? We have reports of uh, customers using this, okay? Wow, doing don't know how many hundred thousand click lah on this without the hub giving way and still going strong. Okay, so if you want something that is proven, okay, very durable, lasting, you want to make one purchase that will last very, very, very long, then okay, to make your money worth, then okay, having the buddy roll off is a wise choice. Okay, uh, it's slightly a little bit heavier because of its internal gear hub, so the whole weight is about 13 kg. Okay, about there. Uh, but because of its nice uh, gearing, it uses actually this uh, Revo shifter. So changing of gears are really simple. So all you need to do is just to push upward or downward. So no complicated shifting of this uh, mechanism. Lah. So really good, let's say you're a beginner or you're not too sure about changing of gears. Lah. They make it really, really easy. So either you push down or push up only. Okay, you can also engage the gears uh, while, okay, uh, while you're, you're paddling. Lah. So really easy shifting of the gearing. Uh, so if you want something that is really nice, 
smooth rolling, okay, buttery, shifting of the gears, okay. A lot of riders commented when they ride on the roll-off, wow, it's so different. The, change, the gears change like so smoothly, okay, which is because of the marvel of this uh, German technology la, inside this uh, shell, la, this 14-speed uh, shell. Okay, if you Google right now, roll-off, R-O-H, L-O-F-F, okay, the hub is still being manufactured in Germany right now. Okay, so it's a marvelous piece of German te technology, I should say. La. So Google on it, okay? That's why a lot of uh, riders actually swear by the roll-off, okay? Especially when they want to do long-distance riding around the world. A lot of touring cyclists, actually, they will actually use the... Their first choice, of course, will be the roll-off because it actually provides, okay, minimal maintenance, okay? The hub won't break down. So if you want something that is really lasting, okay, you do not want to get your hands dirty on a lot of cleaning, you know, very leche, then roll-off is a very good choice. Lah. Okay? So the roll-off now is retailing at about, let me check the price for you, just give me a minute. <clears throat> okay, the roll-off now is going at 5653. Okay, after the 5% discount, usual price is 5950. Okay, I say again, the roll-off now is 5 Six five three after a five percent discount. Future price at five nine five zero. Okay, please uh, lock in your orders quickly. A lot of uh, customers ask me, Tommy, is it nobody buy the roll off? That's why it's still got a lot of stock. Okay, that's not true, uh, because we have many customers, in fact, who bought it. Okay, during this uh, particular also this COVID nineteen situation, you see many people actually bought this model. Okay, we were so shocked also when people place this model. They say, ah, so people buying ah, uh, why ah? Uh? Okay, most probably because they want something really long lasting. Okay, they are pretty fast free. They want something that can last really long. Lah. That's why they make this okay, decision to actually to go for the highest end model, which is the Verdi roll-off. So if let's say if you are thinking long term, okay, you must think long term lah, investment, then that's money money really well spent because you save by okay, maintenance wise, you hardly need to change the sprocket, there's no sprocket, there's hardly any maintenance, okay. So actually you actually write more, you enjoy writing even more. So as a result, okay, health wise, you are more healthy. No need to go and see the doctor. So you save a lot of money in the long run. So you must see it as that way, okay? As an investment for yourself. All right, so if you're thinking about that, please place your order, okay? They're also running out really fast. We don't have a lot of units left. Please place your order at hello and my, sorry. Please place your order at shop.mightyvelo.com. Okay, I'll say again, uh, place your order at our website, shop.mightyvelo.com. All right, so that's the Birdie Roloff 14 speed. Okay, I'm going to show everyone how your body folds down because there's some requests also by customers. Lah. Say, Tommy, can you show or not how the body folds? Okay, so I'm going to fold, show everyone how easy it is. First thing, of course, is to make sure, okay, uh, your body goes down all the way to the smallest pocket, but this is a roll-off, so I cannot show you the thing where it goes down. Lah. But if just, let's say your model is a city, new classic GT, touring model, right? Just make sure you drop your gear until your chain is in the smallest pocket. Lah. Okay, that's for the other model. For roll-off, no need lah, because there's no sprockets there. Okay, so make sure your pedal is somewhere in somewhere in this back position here. Pointing backward lah. About there. Huh? So make sure the y'all can see that. So next thing what we do is to keep your front wheel. So look where I'm holding. I'll hold the stem here. Okay, pick it up. Okay, there's a catch here in front. So make sure your thumb push it down, push forward. Then you notice your front wheel actually comes off. Okay, point it outwards. I say again, uh, your wheel must point outwards. Okay, make one rotation, keep it. There's actually a little start here that will grip your tire. Make sure it's engaging and gripping your tire. Okay, the start there. Lah. Okay, somewhere there. Lah. So I'm going to lower this down. Okay, make sure it stands. Okay, make sure your pedal position is correct. Uh. If it's just shifted, just shift it back again. Alright, so at this point, your bike should be pointing about this, this direction, lah, outwards. Lah. Next thing, okay, we're going to collapse your rear wheel. So there's a lever situated on your left side of the frame here. So your thumb, uh, push it aside, okay, and lift up. So now, okay, your rear wheel actually can be folded now. So push it down, okay, and you notice your pedal will some, would rest somewhere at the bottom there. That is normal, okay, and at this moment, you can tuck in your front wheel. So at this point, your bike should be able to stand like in this manner, okay, without me doing anything, uh, it should be standing, not holding anything. Okay, after that, okay, lower your seat post. Okay, and of course, the last step, of course, would be your handlebar. There's a safety catcher, engage it. You can lift up the lever, and then your handlebar can be safely brought down. 
Okay. Uh, the position of a panel is really, really important because we have some new customers, right? They're not too sure or they let some of their friends try and as a result, because of the wrong position, right? They slam down, okay, the frame and then as a result, their frame got stretched. So you must be really, really careful, be mindful of the position of the paddle. So before you fall, right, must make sure, huh? so I'll go through the steps again. First thing, drop your gearing until it's sitting at the smallest pocket. Second thing, position of your, your this paddle. The right paddle should be somewhere on top position. Okay, after that, then you fold down your front wheel. Okay, and after that, of course, your rear wheel. And then, of course, followed by your seat post. And last step, okay, you release the catch to bring down your handlebar. So those are the steps that you should be taking. So do it slowly, okay? When you're a new owner, don't like, oh, try to make it very fast, no need. Try to do it slowly, make it easy lah, until you know the steps by heart, okay? Then after that, you will find that actually the folding becomes very second nature and it becomes really easy from that point. So take your time. Don't kajong, don't karang kabot. Take your time, okay, know the steps. Make sure you know the position of your paddles, okay, when you do the folding and unfolding. All right, so unfolding, I'm going to show one time again, okay? so. Set up the handlebar, followed by your seat post. Okay, your seat post has to be fairly reason high. Huh? Too low, you will prevent the bike from unfolding also. So must raise up. Because some customers, they are a bit cut huh? Then they say, oh, yeah, I cannot unfold the rear wheel. Why? Huh? Because the seat post never go up. So make sure this is raised. Okay, it's a common problem. Lah. So make sure you raise this up. Huh? Then you can unfold. This one, the handlebar, push it outwards. Very important. Otherwise, you can't. You see, you hold on to the derailleur. So handlebar, push outward. I must remember, uh, after that, okay, hold your saddle here, lift up. Okay, and then you can actually push down to lock your the rear wheel. Uh. Last step, very easy, pick up the stem, hold your arm here, okay, the front fork here, the arm, push outward. One rotation, and then press the clip here, and that will lock. Okay, at this point, you can just adjust the saddle to your waist level, uh, and then you're ready to ride. If you find your seat post is slipping, okay, it's because you did not engage. You see there's a little down here? Okay, uh, there's one minus and one plus. There's one, there's a sign there, minus and plus. So if you want it to tighten, right, turn to the plus sign until it tightens. Then make sure then you clamp. Okay, that's a, uh, you need to do that. Lah. All right. Okay, so that's really, really important. Lah. Otherwise, okay, your seat post will tend to slide down. All right, so same thing for here also. There's another clamp here. Let me show everyone. Down here, you see? This clamp here actually is for you to adjust the height of your handlebar. So if you are uh, someone who likes to ride really upright, you can actually adjust this. Remove the clamp, slide up or down, then you make sure you secure it. Okay, uh, we have some customers asking me, Tommy, I like to bring the body, you know, I like to take it to the MRT. Le. Can I do that or not? Uh, you can, uh, but let me show you the folding again, and then I'll show you how easy it is to roll it. Uh. So, okay, first thing, your pedal, uh, top position, for your front wheel. Okay, lever, release, tuck in your rear wheel, okay, and then after that, your front wheel tuck in, and then of course, at this point, lower your seat post. Okay, lower your seat post. So once you're in this position, right, and your seat post is standard, hold on to your saddle, but you can only roll it on your left wheel. See what I'm doing right now? See, yeah, you can roll like that. But you can only roll in the forward position. So you can still bring it up the MRT and roll it in this manner, okay, without the need for installation of any rack. No need. You still can roll. Okay? So this is actually a very easy solution. If let's say your plan is to take public transport, the train, you like to go to shopping center, go to cafe, but you need to fold out your bike. Lah. You, they, cannot, they don't allow you to go inside the shopping center with your bike unfolded. So make sure you fold it down and you still can roll it in this manner, okay? And pack it down beside you in the cafe. All right, so I hope that is very clear to the buddy owners out there. So if you need any help, please uh, feel free to always to comment, ask, you need any help. Okay, we'll try our best to tell you. All right, so hang on a while, I'll show you another model. Okay, just like to wish all viewers, okay, thank you for joining us on this PGIF, okay, it's going to be a national day weekend, so 
Happy holidays to everyone. Happy birthday to Singapore as well. Okay. So please do have fun during this weekend. Maybe have spend some time. Okay. Chill out time riding your bike. Uh, we have many requests. Okay. From viewers to show the carry all. Okay. Especially the senior, active seniors. Thank you so much. They have been coming to the warehouse. Okay. Uh, asking a lot of questions because they are very interested to kickstart a healthy lifestyle. And they are so sick of staying at home watching drama, doing, playing the computer, playing the game. Okay, it's really good lah. Actually, for our active seniors, right? Your mom, your dad, okay? Please do encourage them, your grandparents, okay? Bless them with a carry-all folding tricycle so that they can actually go and have some freedom. Okay, a lot of those active seniors, I realize, if I'm speaking to them, right? They are very fearful of going out to cycle. Yes. Hang on, I think there's some audio connectivity problem. Just give me a minute. For me, also can rest. Lah. <laughs> okay? Okay, so after speaking to a lot of uh, all these active seniors, right, we found that actually a lot of them, right, they feel very bored at home because there's nothing much they can do. And actually having a tricycle, right, would give them that much needed mobility, okay, to go to like a park, to actually to exercise, to take in the sights, enjoy the fresh air, you know, the scenery. Right? It actually does wonders for them. So please, okay, if you do have your parents or you do have, let's say, your elderly grandparents, okay, you know, they're very bored at home, okay, please bless them with a carry-all, okay, to actually go out and enjoy. Yeah. Just taking a while, ah, connectivity issue again. Okay, thank you for joining us, ah. Huh? We try to resolve the audio issue. Ah, uh. okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, mic test. Can you hear me? Cannot, okay. We are losing audio. Um, time to upgrade to better audio system. <laughs> Please do recommend, okay? If you have any audio system in mind out there, you think it's very good for audio, for live, Facebook. Please do also comment below so that we can check and look into it. Okay, do you have any sound? Okay. Your sound. Thank you so much. I hope you do know of any good. Live Facebook audio, okay, please. So that we can also invest in a system that gives you better clarity, okay, to the audience. So, okay, right now we're speaking about, regarding about carry-all, okay, because we have many actually active seniors, okay, asking us about this particular model. Okay, the carry-all actually is a really lightweight folding tricycle. There ain't much uh, folding uh, tricycle in the market. I believe this is the only one. And most tricycles in the market, they are very heavy, they're very bulky, you cannot fold it. Okay, the tricycle alone weighs about 10.3 kg and they are made of aluminium alloy. It doesn't rust. Very easy for them to actually to push or drag it around. So you can actually pull it along. You can actually stand it like this or so. So it's very compact. Okay, you can put it into the car boot, go to a park, unload it and start riding the tricycle. Okay, uh, this is especially good not just for active seniors, okay, also for many other users. For example, people who have just recovered from an injury. Maybe they have just gone for a knee injury, okay? They are recovering. They couldn't cycle a normal two-wheel, okay? Having this three-wheel tricycle actually helps them, okay, to build up the strength so that they can cycle. Okay, another group of people would be actually the those uh, uh, special needs, okay? Kids, teenagers, even adults, okay? You actually need something that they can uh, balance. They don't need something so fast so that their guardians or even their parents can actually watch out for them when they cycle. And then, of course, another group of people will, of course, be people who cannot cycle at all, but they want to cycle. Okay, we have many, actually, riders. They say, hey, my wife cannot cycle. My okay, but they, she wants to cycle. Can, can do this or not? Can, because this is three-wheel. You don't need any balance. So as a result, all you need to do, just sit and pedal. Okay, so really easy, I should say. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to show everyone how easy it is to actually to unfold your carry-all. Okay, there's a clip here. Just pop it open. Handlebar, bring forward, extend up all the way. Okay, this one you just need to tighten and push forward. If you find this is too loose, right? Just turn it. Turn one round. 
and then push down again. If you find it's still too loose, go another round. Push down again until the tightness is fairly tight. It cannot be too loose. Oh. This is the safety thing. Huh? So if it's loose, you just quarter turn one more time, I turn. If it's too tight, never mind. Loosen back one more quarter turn and it should be okay. Push it down all the way down. Always remember this handle, right? Must always be facing forward. It cannot be facing backward like in case you know you knock and then you oh in pain yourself. You know, huh? always face forward. Next thing, okay, what you need to do, release the seat post clamp. Okay, just release this, lift up the saddle. Point the saddle forward. Okay, and then this clamp just push it backward. If you find that the saddle is loose, you know this is slipping, there's a little round knob behind, just turn it and then fasten. That's all. Okay? Next thing you do, push it all the way down. You will clip. And that will lock the back step. Very easy. Next thing, you can unfold the pedal, hold the side here, do a twist. Do the same for the other side. Okay, next step, we're going to get the front tube out. So there's a little catch here at the side here. Push, push it out. So that's why now it's extended. Okay, hold on to the stem, hold on to the seat post, do a slide. Okay, and make sure this one slides all the way down. At this point, okay, last step, make sure this knob here, turn a few times to secure. Okay, so before you write three things you need to ensure, this is secure, okay, your handlebar stem is tight, it's locked, your knob there is secure, turn a few rounds to make sure it's really tight. Okay, next one, make sure your this rear right here, the clip is clip on and tight. So at this point, adjust the saddle to the rider's waist level. Okay, ask them to squeeze the brake, get on it, okay, and they can begin to pedal. Yes. Okay, for the carry-all, you can take up to a max rider's weight of 100 kg. Okay, so 100 kg, you can tahan. Uh, height is about 140, even to about 180. Okay, so 140 to about 180. Lah. So you can take up to 100 kg. So please, okay, uh, if you know of uh, people who need the carry all, okay, it could be those groups of people I mentioned, the active seniors, blast them with a tool like this to actually work out, okay, their joints, good for their soul, their spirit, okay, they won't be so bored at home so that they can take in some sights at the park, fresh air as well. Okay, that's one group of people. Second group of people are those who cannot cycle but wants to join their, okay, their partner, okay, their husband, their wife to cycle. So please bless them with this. And they can kickstart a healthy lifestyle uh, to actually to begin cycling. Next group of people, of course, would be people who have just recovered from their injury. It could be people having physiotherapy, you know, fairly weak legs, okay, after operation, you need to build up the strength. You can get a carry-off for that purpose to build up strength. And of course, the last group of people would be people with special needs, okay, the kids, uh, teenagers, even adults, okay, where you need something that is not so fast, okay, slow, and where you're still able to actually to guide them on how to navigate. Uh, or to control the, this carry-on. Okay, so the carry-on now is selling at the special price of 1299. I say again, a special price of 1299. Usual price was 1449. You can order at our website, shop.mightyvalo.com. Okay, it's available in two colors. This color I'm showing everyone is called khaki brown. There's one more color called slate gray. Okay, so if there's any color, okay, you can choose on between these two colors, okay. Uh, it's selling really, really well. So if you do know of customers or friends or uh, of your grandparents, okay, who needs one, please do order one for them. Yes, I have a question. I don't have a bigger wheel version. Bigger wheel version means ah, uh, folding becomes bigger, becomes heavier. So as a result, it won't be so compact anymore. So okay, this is carry all. It features eight inch uh, tires. Okay, uh, it is. You still have to inflate, ah. Uh, you must pump. Some customer asked me, is this solid? They're not solid must pump up to 80 PSI, okay? It's not meant for fast riding, I say again. It's meant for slow, controlled, good exercise kind of ride. Okay, it's meant for those groups of people I mentioned, the active seniors, okay, people who can't cycle, people recovering from the injury, or those having physiotherapy, okay, to build their muscle, their weak leg muscle, and even for special needs, okay, for people who want just to have a good fun, but you do not want them to go until so fast, lah. So it's actually meant for this group of people. Who is it not meant for? It's not meant for cyclists. I say again, uh, if you're a cyclist, don't buy the carry or buy the carry me because that is meant for a cyclist. This is meant for those groups of people I mentioned just now. Okay, so I'm going to show everyone right now the carry me. Okay, hang on.
Okay, so here is the carry me. Uh, this is the carry me two uh, single speed. Uh, really compact, you see. Standing beside me, ah, uh, footprint is really really small. Okay, I really like it for the fact that because it is so it's so compact, so I can actually hold it in this manner. Okay, like that. Okay, this is relatively light at eight point three kg. Uh, you can put it like in the corner of your apartment. Okay, or maybe in your office. Put it at one corner. It's out of the way. Really small. Ultra compact. So we have many, many uh, orders for this particular carry me during this timing. Okay, I think a lot of people want to cycle, but a lot of them do not want to have so many speed. Their main function is to just cycle during the weekends in the park where it's relatively flat, smooth surface. They do not want to do rental. You know, bicycle rental is a headache. Okay, big, 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 and then a lot of people using it, so they don't feel comfortable. So if you want something your own bike, but you do not want to spend so much money. You only want a single speed, easy to maintain. I strongly recommend the Carry Me single speed. Okay, this is available in nine colors. It's now retailing at nine, nine, nine. Okay, I say again, ah, uh, the Carry Me single speed is retailing at nine, nine, nine. Okay, I'm going to show everyone, okay, step by step, how easy it is to unfold the Carry Me. So for users, okay, who have just bought the Carry Me from, from from us, okay, you can also have a look and also observe, lah. What are the steps when we unfold the carry me? So first thing, you should be standing behind, okay, the carry me. Pop the carrying handle open. Same thing like the carry all, lah. Bring this all the way front, okay. Grip the handlebar, push all the way up. So this should be straight. Very important, ah. Eh? Extend your handlebar all the way up. And then at this point, same thing, okay. Tighten. If you find it's too loose, you see it's too loose, okay. Go one more quarter turn, tighten again, and push down hard. This should be always be pointing forward. I say again, ah. Eh? This portion here must always point forward. Okay, push it down. It should be fairly tight. All right, next thing, okay. Very simple, release the clamp here. Push your handlebar backward, okay. And then, of course, you adjust this pedal. Make sure it's pointing forward. Okay, at this point, just clamp. Tighten this. If you find this is too loose, there's actually a, a round knob on the left side. Just tighten it. Then you clamp again. All right, push all the way down until this section clips on. So it's, okay, it should be a clicking sound, and you try to lift up, it should not be able to lift up, it should be locked. So do a test. Okay, that's done. Next thing, your pedal. Hold the side of the pedal, twist. Okay, so that will unfold. Do the same for the other side. At this point, okay, you can actually, let me show everyone now. Uh, there's a clip here, you see there's a back button here, a catch. Push this catch, okay, and then the thumb, you can push this front wheel out. Okay, at this point, hold the top portion of your carry me, hold the saddle, okay? Do a slide. Bring it up all the way down. This tubing system will slide down. And the last step, okay? This knob here, just turn a few rounds until it's tightened. Turn, turn, turn until it's tight. And that's it. So before you ride, always check three things. Check that your handlebar catch is secure, it's tight. First check. Second check, make sure your knob here is tightened. Okay, make sure it's tightened, ah. So that's important. Last step, make sure your this catcher is locked. So make sure it's when you lift up, it doesn't drop down. It should be locked. If you lift up and it drops down, means your catch is not engaged. So push it down hard, you'll click onto it. Okay, and of course the last step, you just adjust your saddle to your waist position, and then you're ready to begin your ride on the carry me. Okay, I say again, the carry me weighs only 8.3 kg, really light, ultra compact. And it's actually recommended for users who do not need a lot of gears. So if you know what you need, like you, I just want to cycle in the park connector, or straight pavement, straight kind of route, then Carry Me is ideal because you don't need so many gear. Okay, it features eight-inch uh, tires. Okay, the pedaling is surprisingly very easy. A lot of people has this misconception that when you pedal, ah, uh, wow, I need to have a lot of effort. Actually, not true. Okay, if you do a steady, steady cadence on it. You can actually go pretty fast, up to about 15 km per hour, which is actually quite fast on a park connector. Okay, so this is the Carry Me. It's available in nine colors. Please uh, visit our website, shop.mightyvelo.com. It's now retailing at 999, usual price 1199. Okay, uh, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to just comment below. Okay, we'll try our very best to get back to you uh, regarding about specs, regarding about prices, or anything you'd like to ask about. Okay, on the carry me. Okay, I'm going to show now everyone how to fold it back. Okay, there's a question first. Do you have a specific big spring set 
Uh, that one, yes, we can. Please do PM us, okay? Please message and we'll reply to you. Or you can also email to us at hello at mytvelo.com. Okay, regarding about Reach, uh, this brand called Reach GT, please do email us at hello at mytvelo.com if you are interested to purchase a set from us because we have very limited quantities. We do not put it out on the listing on the website. So if you would like to have one, please email us at hello at mytvelo.com. Okay, this is regarding about Reach GT. If you like to have a unit, we only have very limited units. So please write to us, okay, to secure your order. Okay, I'm gonna show everyone how to fold the carry me. So very first thing, loosen the knot. Turn a few round until it's loose. Okay. Your hand, one of the hand, okay, hold on to this portion here. Make sure you grip onto it. Next one, pull down on your saddles. Let it stand on the two wheel. Okay, at this point, push down your front wheel until it goes into the catch. Press the catch and it will lock. Fold the pedal, press the side and twist. Do the same for the other end. Okay, there's a catch here at the bottom there. When I'm pointing, can you see my finger here? Okay, press and then lift up. This will bring up your rear. After that, loosen your clamp here. You can actually point your saddle backwards, slide it down. Okay, lock back your clamp. Your catch here, loosen, just pop it up. Slide down all the way. And then bring your handlebar gripping your saddle. And then just lock. Okay, you find it's too tight, never mind, loosen, quarter, and then just do it. Turn a few rounds of this side, it's loosen, ah. then you press down. So at this point now, okay, it's secure. You can push it forward like this. When you take the MRT, or you can actually hold it this way and pull it behind you. So really convenient, okay. Uh, it's really, I find it's ultra compact, lah, which I like about the carry because it's so compact, it's so light. It doesn't take up much space, okay. So even if, let's say you're at home, you're very space constrained, you can just tuck it in your storeroom, one corner of the apartment, it stays out of the way. Or even you bring up to your office, you can tuck it below your desk, okay? And no one know that there's a folding bike underneath your desk. So if you want something simple, easy to maintain, cause a single speed, okay? Minimal, fast, just, you just want to ride in the park kind of ride, then please consider the Carry Me. It's now going at 999, okay? Available in nine colors. Please visit our website, shop dot mightyvalo.com okay so that's all i have for you this afternoon thank you for joining us please do check out our new bikes the Uruka, the japanese design folding bike by mr Masaki kobayashi okay it's running out really fast a lot of people are buying so if you'd like to own one please place your order at shop.mightyvalo.com available in two colors right now storm gray and silver also check out our birdie bikes the r20 and roll off also they are selling really fast uh if you'd like to own one please place your order as well and of course I will carry all and carry me holding tricycle and bicycle. Okay, so that's all I have for you this afternoon. Happy holidays, okay? Uh, enjoy your weekends, have a good time, chilling, relaxing, and of course, riding your bicycle until our next live video. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Any questions, please do comment, okay? Thank you so much until the next live video. Bye-bye.